Okay, you guys, welcome to our next guide. So for this one, we're going to work on our data visualization. So we're going to go ahead and scroll on down to our core number one, open up our section two, and we are going to get into our guide of the summarize our data. And let's go ahead and continue. And our first one is we're going to figure out how are we going to make pie charts and how can we kind of determine um, some of the summarizations or, or some of the story of what's happening with the data just with our pie charts. Okay, so before we get started and even take a look at the data, I'm going to go ahead and get my uh, R Commander up and running with all my extra tools. So here I opened up my R Studio. Give it a second to load real quick. And I, give me just a second, I'll zoom it in a little bit. Hopefully that'll make it a little bit easier to see. Okay. And I'm going to run library plugin. This is another way that you can load in your package or you could go search in the packages and scroll on down <laughs> once it loads up we'll be able to import our data and go ahead and get started okay so here we go I've got my R commander window I've got my R studio window and I've got my guide over here Okay, so I have this question. So this following survey was given to 92 individuals. Refer to it for the following questions. Uh, what type of data is this? And which pie chart correctly models the data? And which marital status is most likely for this survey? All right, so if we click on data, we should get a whole bunch of marital statuses. So I'm just going to highlight all of that. I'm going to copy it. And I'll just hide it to get it out of the way. I'm going to go to R Commander, go data, import my data from my clipboard. So I'm going to say it's from my clipboard. Remember with the clipboard we always choose tabs. And I'll click OK. And oh, looks like that I had a problem with loading in the data. Let me try that one more time. We will just copy that. Ooh, copy it. There we go. Data import And when I click View Data Set, now it looks like that I've got all of my data. Okay, great. Also, double check to remind yourself, make sure that your very top line is the title, marital status, and that it's not one of the actual data points. I see that happen a lot. And if it does, just try to re-upload your data. All right, so now that I've got my data in, uh, what I want to do is I want to take a look at this data for a second and try to figure out, okay, what type of data is it? All right, let me click on that view data set again so I can have it up. All right, so my options are, I could have, well, first of all, let's try to figure out is this numerical or is it nominal, sorry, categorical data. Okay, so if it is numerical, I should be just seeing like numbers. And if it's categorical, I should be seeing categories. All right, so if we look at this one, we definitely should be dealing with categorical data. And if we look at this and try to see, okay, is this numerical, or sorry, is this, is this nominal or is this ordinal data? Now we have a real question. So all of these options, if you notice, we, you might not know how many total options are there, are there here. So let's just do a quick summary real quick. So if we go to basic statistics, we should be able to do descriptive statistics and I'm just going to click on active data set. So if I click on this one, it will pull up a summary for all these. So it's, I have never married, widowed, married, divorced, and separated. I have these numbers next to them. Sometimes that's ind indicative of ordinal data and sometimes it literally means nothing at all. It just, we wanted it in a specific order and that's the one that, that we put it in. So let's think about it. Is there any order to this? Like, does it make sense if I would say, what proportion of people were married or less? Are widowed and never married less than married, but somehow divorced and separated are greater than married? I don't know. That seems crazy. There doesn't seem like any natural order here. So this most likely would be 
categorical nominal. So I'm just going to click on that, and that, that's a good thing to remember for pie charts, categorical nominal. All right, next thing, which pie chart correctly models the data? I honestly have no idea. I could make a guess from these numbers, or I can just make a pie chart. So let's just make a pie chart. So I'm going to go over to graphs, and you notice that there's a whole lot of graphs, and a bunch of them are grayed out. Those grayed out ones need uh, some numerical data, and because we don't have any numerical data, uh, we can't do them. Okay, so we have these couple right here. We've got a bar graph and a pie chart. So I'm going to go ahead and click on pie chart. And now it lets us choose our variables. We only have one to choose from, so we'll leave it at marital status. And for the X label, uh, we could put in some labels. The nice thing about pie charts is they really don't need an X label or a Y label. There really isn't one. But a graph title, we can leave it. Um, it might cr produce the right thing. If we want, we can, though, I'm just going to type in marital status. And if we want to change the colors, you can change your color palette. I'm just going to leave it as the default. And I'm going to go ahead and click OK. Now what should happen is you should have a pop-up of this guy, of your marital status, where it gives us our one never married, two widowed, three married, four divorced, and this five separated, just like this. Now if we come over here, we should find one that looks similar. Now, these were made using two separate programs, but the individual pie pieces should match up with one of these over here. So we need to kind of take a look. And one thing that we can do too, I'm going to close out of here. I'm going to see if I can pull up the percentages on these as well. Let's take a look if we can do it. We'll go to graphs, back to that pie chart again. And, oh, no, it doesn't look like I've got that option here. So I'm just going to just click OK again and pull it back up. All right, but where we can get, get the percentages from is we can go and get some more uh, summaries from our basic statistics. If we go to our basic statistics descriptive, and we could go back to a frequency distribution for our marital status, and we can click OK. Here we are able to get our, our percentages. We've got 11, 19, 31, 13, and 26. Okay. So because of that, let me pull back that, that graph back up again. All right, we can match these up. So we know that separated, that's five, had 26. So we need to find a 26 up here. And check it out, I found a 26. If I look at married, which is number three, it's 31. I can go down here and say, hey, this one's 31. And if we notice, if we go one, two, three, Four, five. If you notice, they went count. They went clockwise, and this one went counterclockwise in how they started. Uh, but each of the pieces of the pie are in fact the same size, which is kind of handy. Um, so there we go. We were able to nail this guy and figure out that this one is the right one. Now we could also go through like process of elimination. This one doesn't make sense. That 90% were separated. That just doesn't follow what our data shows and we could go through the rest of those and kind of do a process of elimination. So we can always create these pie charts and with our frequency tables we can get our percentages for each of the parts of the pie, which is super handy. Okay, so then we were able to say which marital status was most likely to occur for this survey. Once again, we can just look at our pie chart and we can see right here that married at 31% was greater than all the rest. So I could just go and click on married and if we submit we should be able to get yep all of our points. So there it is. We got everything correct on that one. Pie charts are super simple. Remember that they are most appropriate for nominal data because there's no real order to a pie chart and we can find out some kind of simple statistics uh, from our pie chart. So good luck.